Welcome back, my warriors, to more Greedfall. Last time, we had helped Kurt with his whole mission, which was like almost the whole episode. And I think it was, except for the arena stuff we did. But now we're going to come over here into the region of Hickmeck and help out with whatever problem they're dealing with. I also changed Siorda from, I think I had Vasco on last time. Because this is dealing with the natives, so maybe she'll be useful to us. So, let's talk. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? Governor Burren has asked me to help you fight against the caravan attacks. Could you tell me precisely what's going on? For weeks we have been harassed by the savages. They're waiting for groups of soldiers or caravans to be out of sight of the outpost, and attack with incredible violence. They don't just steal goods or equipment. They kill without mercy. Only one man survived their last attack. He's here in a sorry state. Do you think he could answer a few questions? Yes, but take it easy on him. I'll make sure I do, Captain. All right. She already didn't say anything, so that must be true. Hello there. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was informed that your caravan was looted, and that you were the sole survivor of the attack. It's true, Your Excellency. It was awful. All those deaths. The violence. We followed the recommended precautions to the letter, but it was useless. About him, the attackers, or the goods. Okay. What were you transporting? Mostly food, but also herbs and other ingredients for scientists. Did the attackers take it? Everything was a blur. I don't know if they intended to steal or destroy it. Unfortunately, my companions died while trying to protect our cargo. Are you saying that the looters started by attacking your cargo? Yes, Your Excellency. Maybe more of us would have survived if we'd all fled. All y'all didn't fly or flee? How did the attack happen? We traveled all day. We were exhausted. And night was approaching. We knew we were not very far from the outpost, but we couldn't go any further. So we camped away from the road, trying to stay out of sight. Alas, it was in vain. That's when they struck, in the middle of the night. Okay. Were there several attackers? I counted five, maybe six. But others were hiding in the woods. I'm sure of it. If they only had their usual stone weapons, we may have hoped to escape them, but their weapons were inflamed. I have never been so scared in my life. All right. You mentioned recommended precautions. Yes. Since attacks occur often, we were given a number of precautions to avoid them. Do not travel at certain times. Do not camp near the road. Do not light any fires. All of it was useless. It would have been better to recruit guards to escort us. Hmm. Based on what you're saying, the attacks were very targeted. They must have a camp near the outpost to monitor the road. But what is their goal? Why attack all the caravans along this route? They must want to cut off the supply lines to Hikmet. We'll go to the scene of the attack. I might find something there to help track these rebels. All right, find and examine the location of the attack. I think it's just outside this camp. No, nope, never mind, it's further down. Let's check how far or where. How'd y'all get all the way over here? That doesn't make any sense. Did they just come off the road and say, you know what? We're, we're okay. Let's, let's camp out over here. No! Y'all were so close to your destination. Could've put a little bit more oomph The caravan in. was some distance from the road when it was attacked. Yeah, over here, where the bats are. Trees, is this the right way? I don't think so. But there's a chest, so. Ammo and health, nice. Here we are, stay alert. All right. Okay. 
Oh, I also put on intuition. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I leveled up the I think 29. I think that's when you get it. No, not 29. 29 is the next level, but I think 25. Yeah. And I put the talent in intuition. So now I can actually see things more better, like better. You know, like we just picked up some berries and things like that. The food has been destroyed. They clearly don't need it, which means that their camp should be close by. They must have died protecting their goods. How sad. These wounds appear to be caused by stone blades. The kind of weapons that islanders use. The crates are empty. Their entire contents have been destroyed. These goods were not meant to reach their destination. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around. All right, find the rebels. We're probably not too far. I know they can't be back there because that's where the bats are. So there are the bulls. Let's move over here quietly. I know where they are too. It's, it's no secret. Should we take them down? Can we take them down? That's the question. Yes, we can. Let's switch it out. Um. I don't know what you were doing, but... That's two. Kurt, come on. There we go. And my weapons keep changing. That's going to be an annoyance because I try to keep it on my strongest one. But as you can see, you can see more of the light here which tells me where stuff it is all right see it's useful even though I could have did all this by myself so we're gonna have to go through some bats and maybe another thing of bulls yeah because they're down there but those are bears Hold on a second. Yep. Why was this man's body arranged like that? There's something in his pocket. That's down. We're out. Things are about to get dicey. Nope. You're the only one left. Alright. Berries, nightshade. And I don't think these bears are normally out here, so this must be for the mission. Unfinished letter from the merchant to his family. I am afraid this trip will be my last. We were very cautious. We even ate cold food every night because lightning or lighting a fire was too dangerous. And yet, I feel as if we were being observed, and I am afraid they might attack us from one moment to. He was in the caravan. But whoever attacked him decided to drag him here and feed him to the wild beasts. The Donea Ectragal do this as a sort of scare tactic. This is a message for other merchants. Well, thank you, Sierra. See, this is why we have Sierra on our team when we do these types of native versus the actual people. I did not just hit that guy or that bull. I was trying to hit this one. This is one of the cheap ones too. Your dad. Good job, Kurt. Let's go ahead and get this one. Okay. So hopefully we don't have to fight anyone else aside from the bats. Cause they should literally be the only thing in our way up here because here's the ladder there's a back area here and I know where the village or camp is oh well, who are you oh okay they decided to come out this time death nope been stunned 
No. A patrol. We're close to the target. Yeah, see? Bats back there. But these islanders weren't here before, so... The game loaded them in just for this mission. So what we're gonna do is that... We're gonna stealth. I already destroyed this wall. Much like I climbed the one on the other side. And we should be able to get through here without any trouble. And here we go. We can try and sneak down here, but I don't think it'll work. Yep, it won't work. Nope, didn't work. Nope. You're done. Wait, was she poisoned? This back here, from you, from here, and from you. Oh, let's go ahead and look at that. We don't need willpower. Let me see if I can get us to Kurt. Kurt, I have something for you. There you go. I don't know if you use magic, but there you go. Gotta climb. And it should be back here. Finally, here's the camp of the rebel natives. The standing men call themselves Donaya Exregal. Please, let's try and talk to them. I do not want to fight with my brothers without trying to reason with them first. Okay. Oh, they're willing to talk. Nice. Hello. Don't worry. I come in peace. I only wish to speak to your leader. I am the leader of this camp, Renaixe. And who might you be? My name is the Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. The congregation? Are those the Lugayet Blau? The yellow eyes? It's possible, yes. We live in the city south of the island. That's right. We hold no grudge against your people. Talk. I'm listening. I've come to speak to you about your attacks against all those who take the road to Hikmet. The Lurians only got what they deserve. They have captured many of our people. We must release them. That's the price of war. If you fight, you risk men being taken prisoner. I'm not talking about warriors, Renaixe, but villagers kidnapped in our villages. They mainly attack on all Menawi. Those carrying the mark of the bond like you. They capture them, and we never see them again. We don't know what they are doing to them, but we are going to release them. I see. But our merchants have no role in this. They are not warriors. So why kill them? They brought food and weapons back to our enemies. We could not let them pass. If your merchants had fled, we would not have pursued them. But they resisted, so they do it. The city of Loyans is no longer to receive food or weapons. Nothing. I share your anger against the Lions, and I also hope to find our captured brothers. But the Rinaigse also use floating houses to transport things. Your attacks were useless. Listen, if what you told me is true, I fully understand why you're fighting. I'm even ready to help you clear up these disappearances. As long as you spare our merchants. You no longer need to worry about it. That was our last attack. Our troops are ready. And soon we will make the Luyan pay for the harm it has brought upon us. What are you talking about? Soon the Donea Exrega will march together and we will free our brothers. Okay. Attack the rebels or leave. Are these the only choices? Can you guarantee that our merchants will now be able to take this road without risking their lives? I always keep to my word. The time for small attacks is over. Now is the time of war. 
I'm afraid you're heading straight into a massacre. But since you promised me that our caravans will be spared, I have fulfilled my mission. Go in peace. We should prepare ourselves. All right. I'll inform him. So yeah, that's how we deal with this. We don't we don't attack them. I mean, it'd probably be better for them, but if they're gonna get massacred by themselves, then hey, it's their problem, not ours. As long as they're not gonna be attacking caravans, we have no reason to attack them. I hope I will not regret letting them go. They are so full of hatred for the Alliance. The Donaya Exregal fight, as my mother did, to free our people from the lions. And now, they are ready for a great battle. I hope they will not end up like my clan. I have to admit that the story of this attack is concerning. We should talk to Captain Rainhild about it. We can also inform him that the convoys will now be running smoothly. All right. And it's only the, the new extra gal that we're fighting, or they're fighting. The others, they're not. I think Ulan's men, they're not fighting. So hopefully, they probably help them? I don't know. But this is their fight, not ours. Where do I go? Oh, I'm not in the camp yet. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? I managed to trace the rebels who attacked the caravans. They will no longer be a problem. You eliminated them? No, that's not necessary. But you must know that this group is part of a much bigger army. An army that is ready to go to war against Hikmet. We have been at war with the rebels for a long time. They did not speak of skirmishes, but of a pitched battle. They want to free their imprisoned comrades and will stop at nothing to do so. This is terrible news. We must prepare the troops immediately. I'll send a message to Governor Buran. Thank you for warning us, Your Excellency. You've given us a chance to resist their assault. I know it's not much, but I hope you'll accept this as a token of gratitude. Thank you, Captain. Oh, she so gave us coin. Nice. And is that it? That's all we can do for Hikmet? I believe so. All right. Like I said, there are some people around areas that have this icon above them where I can speak to them. So let me see. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? Nothing. I must go. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, Your Excellency. All right. So yeah, people who have those above them we can speak to. There's actually some natives um, I saw in Ferridrad, the area where Sierra's village is located. We can actually talk to someone who needs us to do a mission, I believe, for them. But we're going to go ahead and continue with this, the prince's secret. This is about the ruins, though. So let's go ahead and take this caravan. I don't know if we'll see the battle or how it'll turn out, but it's their war to fight. Greetings, so Take us to New Serena. To New Serene, please. Alright. Let's go ahead and go to the docks and talk to the Admiral. We'll probably oh, no. need We'll probably need someone that we know. So I'm gonna take Vasco with us because he knows the captain. Or he knows, she knows. Whatever. We're getting Vasco. Here we go. Let's head straight towards the Admiral. So what is saying to us as the main mission is that closer, good people. the the Sarde is probably the child of a native and one of the former you know former congregation members 
or his father, basically. All right, here's the Admiral. Desarde, what can I do for you? I've explored many ruins on this island, ruins that after careful scrutiny were built by the congregation. In one of them, we found a journal that made reference to your guild. This document, as are the buildings, date much further back than the arrival of the Bridge Alliance a decade ago. These discoveries raise a good many questions, questions that my cousin would like you to answer. I understand. All the same, we are in a difficult situation. We are bound by the pact. I could eventually overlook these engagements if you would perform a service. Commander Fernando, who holds the port of San Mateus, has problems with certain members of Teleme. The bishop that accompanies you on occasion could without a doubt tell you more. I won't hesitate to speak to him about it. Solve these problems, and I will reconsider the validity of the pact. I will answer your questions. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. I see, so we need him with us. Let's ask Petrius, I think that's his name. I don't really know. So, Kurt didn't say anything. I thought he would have been useful, but I guess I was wrong. We'll ask Petrius and then we'll teleport over to Telemann or to San Mateus. Telemann is the group, San Mateus is the area. You gotta remember that. Yo, Petrus. Nice. All right. Let's just go go ahead and go over there. Where is the yes right here? All right. We're here in Telemann. Let's move out and see if we can ask Petrus. Ah, my child, I'm happy that you are here. I've had an idea that I wish to present to you. Please do. I've known the Mother Cardinal for quite some time. She is a formidable woman, gifted and diplomatically skilled. I fear that your cousin might be a little defenseless when dealing with her and would like to give him a few weapons. What do you have in mind? Diplomacy is not only a matter of formal encounters and choreographed etiquette. If we had the means to action more personal leverage, the Mother Cardinal could not manipulate your cousin. How could we ever find anything of that sort? Everyone has nasty little secrets, my child. It's our task to discover Cornelia's. Okay, let's hold that off. It is a very good idea. But alas, I have other problems to resolve first. I understand. Come and find me when you are ready. All right, the knot's problem. I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. She said she was bound by a pact that kept her from answering questions on the subject. The Nords are nothing more than mercenaries of the oceans. I suppose that she wants something in exchange. Effectively. She told me that her men posted at San Mateus met with some problems, and she advised me to speak to you. Does that make sense? I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme, and refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Norts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme lands. And, of course, seek out the Bishop Domitius. All right. I'll see you later, Father. Take care, my child. So, I'm thinking that's the knot area. So let me get something real quick. Someone just left something in my chest. Let me see if I still have it. The armor. Yep, I still have it. Let's go ahead and put that... Okay, let's go ahead and put that in the inventory then. There we go. We might as well put it on before we go in there. I don't want to 
destroy our reputation with the knots. Let's see. So this whole area over here is not territory, I believe. So we'll go in here and question them first. Where am I going? Over here? Yeah. And then see what we can do. All right, so my house is over here. So where do I go? Oh, this is the gate. I know where I need to go. Not that way though. Over this way. Nice. Gold coin, free money. Okay. Is this it? Nope. I think there's like another street. Um, can we go here? Harbor office? I don't like what this is. Let me go ahead and put on that suit. Oh, nice, he's right here. Hello, sir. You are from the congregation, are you not? Indeed. De Sade. Your admiral has sent me here. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. I am the port commander here. What might I do for you? Your admiral informed me that you've been having problems with a few citizens of Teleme. What more can you tell me? Problems, huh? We're up to our necks and sinking with problems. Yeah, I even received threats to my own person. One of those high and mighty long robes dared walk upon my docks with talk of burning me at the stake. Burning me? Then two of my men up and disappeared, and I do not believe in coincidence. I wanted to ask for help from the Mother Cardinal, but she did not answer my requests for an audience. The games of politics are not my forte, and investigations even less so. Find my men. I implore you. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. Hmm. It would appear that the Ordo Luminous has been up to mischief again. Their foolish zealousness has been causing us a lot of problems. If we let them, they'd burn the entire world and leave it to the Enlightened to sort out the good from the bad. We should talk to some other sailors at the port. If some of their comrades have also disappeared, they may be able to give us some information. Okay. So let's see... We gotta talk to Bishop, okay. Let's go ahead and question him. He's not too far. He's just all the way down the street. Of which I do not know if there's a wall to separate buildings from buildings. Which there is, goodness man. The city is really elaborate, so. Alright, so here's the beast. Oh, he's inside the castle. That makes a little bit more sense. Oh, in that castle, the government building. Is he... Nope, he's over here. No, he is not. I mean, it says he's in another room, so... Is he all the way over there? Or is he upstairs? Um, let's go upstairs. Oh, there he goes. Ah, Your Excellency. The Enlightened must have sent you. I would like to ask a favor of you. I'm listening. As you may be aware, we suspected this island might be the one St. Lucius wrote about. Did you? 
We did, but let me explain. This island was where Saint Matthias lived at the end of his life, and where he founded a perfect community. Some time ago, we created a village which we called Eden, following his example. We chose this place as it seemed to be the closest to the one described in the Holy Scriptures. It is a home to a community of converted islanders, accompanied and guided in their budding faith by our theologians. As you can imagine, it is of the utmost importance to us, all the more so because we discovered some tablets there which were engraved by our founder. An extraordinary discovery that confirms your suspicions. I see you understand. Alas, these tablets were stolen, probably by the islanders who still reject our influence. I know that you are generally well accepted by the natives. That is why I was hoping that you could help us to retrieve what belongs to us. I suppose I could go to Eden and try and retrieve them. Marvelous. The leader of the community, Father Eustinius, will be able to answer your questions. May the Enlightened assist you in this holy quest, Your Excellency. Okay, I did not come in here for that. So I'm going to talk to this guy first. What do you want from me, my son? Sir de Sarde, emissary of the congregation. Ah, the congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? I believe you have a few problems with the Noughts who reside in the port. We have problems with all matter of heretics, my son. And of course the pagan Noughts would be among them. They are very secretive and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature. Just like the sorcery used by the natives. And to top it all off, and this is where it stings, we suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a nought suffering from the blood plague? Why are they spared? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin, calling upon various cursed rituals. It's as simple as day. I am certain that we will find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. Uh, very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Anything else? Okay. So now we have to choose the side to deal with. I'm going to go side with the knots. They have the ships. You have a single place, which is this town, and I don't feel welcomed here at all, so. We're going to go help the knots. In fact, let's go ahead and get the mission. Investigate the missing knot, investigate, yeah. So let's see which one of these. Investigate the missing knot. Not too far. He has to be somewhere where there would be little, you know, attraction. Unless he's in one of these houses. But we gotta ask some of the crew members. Ah, uh, here we go. Beautiful. I'm glad to be back on the docks. Here goes one guy. Just let me get his chest first. Good day. I'm looking for several sailors. Some noughts that disappeared a few days ago. Sorry, that doesn't ring any bells. But I did hear talk like everyone else on the port. But that's all. You should ask the mage inquisitors who have taken up lodgings here of late. They must have certainly seen something. We see them everywhere. And they spend their time spying on all that moves. Especially eyeing all that the knots are up to. And what do these mage inquisitors look like? They wear a very peculiar symbol. 
We cannot question all the Inquisitors roaming around the island. Especially considering what we've learned from Demetrius. They must be doing everything in their power to discover the Nort's secrets. Okay. Could you not have told that to Petrius as well? I don't really see anyone else. Missing not so it's only on this area. Let's go down over here. Water. Okay, nowhere over here. That's one of the guys, so there has to be someone else we can talk to. I don't really want to go in there, but I may have to. Anyone back here? No. All right, we're kind of safe. What about over here? I want to say we shouldn't be detected or attacked by any knots, but I'm not too sure. Investigate. I mean, there goes one person. Yeah, right here. Good day. I'm looking for two men, Norts, that went missing a few days ago. Do you know anything about them? Why? As a matter of fact, I do. Three or four days ago, I was at the tavern having a conversation with a sailor, a nice fellow. He was telling these stories. He was drinking hard. He went outside for a moment to, you can imagine. And well, he never came back. He wasn't that drunk to have passed out. If it were that, we would have found him. No, something happened to him. That's a fact. But I would be at a loss to tell you what. If one of the sailors disappeared as he came out of the tavern, that is where we should go. If we find Inquisitors there, they'll certainly know more than the ones we see here. All right, let's go to the tavern then. Swiftness, swiftness potion. Never used one of those before. Then again, I haven't used most of these potions. I only really use potions a lot. I should really no need to use them, especially with how strong my weapons are. So where is he? Not too far from here, I guess. Yep. Right. Then let's turn a left at some point. Come closer. Don't hesitate. Merchant. All of our products are a blessing from the invited. Okay. We supply the mother He's probably on the other side of this wall. Yep. Over here. Nope. Get it. There we go. I should just look at the map. Instead of trying to run around. Yeah, he's on... I know it. He's on the other side of this whole wall. We're approaching the tavern. If we're discreet, we should be able to eavesdrop on a conversation. Okay. Am I discreet enough? Whatever. You again. Why am I not surprised to see you implicated in this story of surveillance? I have no idea what you're talking about. A witness told me that you and others of your order seem to be spying on all comings and goings in the port. Two noughts were captured not long ago. You had to have seen something. You are mistaken, my son. You've been misinformed. Okay, provoke him, allow Petrius to speak, call upon the elastic, elastic hierarchy. I don't have Vasco, I think that's an intuition. So I'm gonna ask Petrius to speak. You do know that lying is forbidden in the sacred texts. Lies from someone as pious as yourself. Petrus, 
all politics. Why am I not surprised to see you playing the lawyer to infidels? Remember your manners, Aloysius, and tell us politely what this is about. The Mother Cardinal will be most saddened to hear that you have shown aggression to an emissary, and you know she'll listen to me. I... I, I do not appreciate this attempt at intimidation. But very well, since you insist. These noughts were arrested. We were forced to interrogate them to bring to light their pagan rituals. It wasn't a sanctioned arrest, was it? No. The Mother Cardinal is not aware. Not yet. But as soon as we have succeeded in making them talk and they have confessed their heresy, she... Of course. Where did you take them? The coin guard has lent us their jails and some men. We do not normally like to call upon the services of these brutes, but we have need of their skills and discretion. These Inquisitors really don't realize the consequences of their actions. We will have to proceed with caution. All right, investigating our secrets. No, 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 I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Where is it telling me to go? Investigate not secrets. I don't. I don't care about that. Let's see. Free the captive knots. There we go. Don't don't switch me up like that. How dare you, game? Let's go ahead and rescue them. And then we may do the knot mission if it's still around, which it probably won't be. Here comes our pay, boys. Oh yeah, here, go, here comes your pay. Yeah, you like it? I call it death. I think one got away. Forget it. It's not that important. I call it death. It's very valuable in hell. Alright. Is that it? Free the captive knots? Maybe Are you serious? Maybe Someone else wants a little bit of death? No, it's only useful on the boat. To Tartarus. Whoa. You're dead. Nice. I'm surprised there isn't a bandit faction. That way you can also go evil if you wanted to. And there's still people roaming these streets. Oh, hello, Quartermaster. Greetings. Quartermaster Herbert. I'm in charge of these barracks. And you are? Desade, Legate of the Congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. And what can I do for you? That will be all, Quartermaster. Thank you. Nothing, I guess. Okay, let's go down to the prisons. Alright, over here. Yep. Um, can we talk to you about this? No? Alright. Halt! You have no authority to go any further. Do not forget that there is only one song that can make us change our minds, Greenblood. Played with golden notes. You said it. Or songs of steel. They also open doors. Bribe him or break through. And the bribe isn't that much. And if I gave you this, so that you might go and have a little fun? In that case, I could certainly look the other way for a while, but be discreet. There's no need to fight. Okay. He's not in here. Where are they then? In here? Yeah. Thank you. Thank
Thank you for getting us out of there. Those Inquisitors are completely mad. They tortured us. They wanted us to admit to all manner of horrors. Stories of some demonic cult and curses of Malachor. I was of the firm belief that they were going to kill us. But you must make haste. They are planning some sort of wickedness. They spoke of a great purification. And after that, they did this to us. It doesn't bode well, not at all. I heard them talking about their headquarters near the palace. Maybe you'll learn something there of interest. Thank you again for freeing us. We'll be able to make it back to port on our own. We need to discover what is behind this talk of purification before they can execute their plan. And we should probably find out more about this secret first. If we do not discover anything reprehensible, we will have an easier time convincing the Mother Cardinal to intervene. All right. So we got to go near the palace. I believe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not, not, not in here. I'm done with him there. All right. So, secrets, dominus, talked about. Okay, investigate not secrets. Uh, well, uh, we can still do it. We already finished one thing. I think that takes us straight to a palace. This one over here takes us. To the not ports, hopefully. Yeah. At least I hope. It's pretty dark. Oh goodness, man. There's another one. So this is the main street. No, no, no. This is the port. All right, this is where we need to be. Good day, Desade. How can I help you? I met the representative of the Ordo Luminous, and he spoke of his fears concerning the Norts. That hardly surprises me. That man is full of pride and arrogance, and sees evil wherever he gazes. That bishop is not made of milk and kindness, but his questions are intriguing. He suspects you to be somehow responsible for the Malachor because you never fall prey to it. Responsible for the Malachor? <laughs> and how? Through your magic. Some sort of ritual. Do you use a magic very similar to that of the natives? I have nothing more to say about it. Those are merely the fantasies of a lunatic. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. The commander will probably not tell us anything more about the Nort's secrets, but the documents at the Harbor Master's office may teach us something new, if we can stay discreet. Well, we can try, but we will most likely fail. I'm pretty sure it's only affecting the people of the area. I don't think anybody aside from us can actually take any ill from it. Where is it? Investigate secrets. There are two ways we can get there. Is it down through here? No, because we have to go up through there. So there is a back way. Because there's one over here that tells us about boundaries. What? Here is there for knots. Impossible to look for another passage to be free or you will be attacked on site and lose reputation with the knots. Okay. This is the front entrance. We gotta go to the back. Okay, we're good. Let's go over here then. 
There's only one guy too. Here we go. Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, right through here. Orders from the harbor office. To the attention of the knots in charge of guarding the warehouses. It is crucial that the number of guards patrolling the most sensitive warehouses be doubled. Inquisitors are in disguise were spotted in the area. They must be attempting to get inside. So exercise caution and make sure not to let anyone inside these warehouses. Only the knots are allowed. Our secrets must be protected at all costs. This note speaks of a secret hangar. We should investigate, even though it's sure to be well guarded. That way, we'll know exactly what the Norts are hiding from us. Yeah, but with the way you speak, we'll have to fight them. I mean, we don't have to fight these because of what we're wearing, but... This might not bode well for us. Come on, let's do this. I really think it's the other area. The secret probably isn't even that of the Malachor or how to repel it. It's probably something stupid. Probably like secret documents on all knots. Ah, uh, that's very far. Let's see if we can find a door or something. Ah, uh, is this it? Okay. We gotta enter discreetly from somewhere else. Yep. Nice. Let's go through it. Search the knot hanger. I like how no one questions us. It looks like all knots don't know each other. These machines are extremely complex. I've never seen anything like this. Oh. This one looks like it has a shouting dolphin etched into its side. Are these just ways to navigate on the seas? And that? It looks like a thermometer. And this other machine? Does it really predict the weather? There you go. Let's go out here. Do we need to be out here? I don't think so. Alright, those are two things there. Let's go downstairs. Yep. I've already seen this type of engine in my uncle's court. It's used to spy upon the stars. Mm, nothing magic nor impure therein. They're nothing but measuring instruments. All right. Oh, one more. Admiral's notes. Please have the dolphin cry out the trident repair as quickly as possible, and also make sure to replace the barometer. The one with on board is not as precise as it should be. The crew was not able to steer clear of the storm in time, which cost us a sail. And be discreet. The inquisitors. <laughs> then. The Inquisitors are watching us, Admiral Cabal. These instruments are incredible and I would be hard pressed to use them. But I certainly see nothing magic in here, nor anything diabolical. For as long as they work and are really used, these instruments seem to be the product of science. And I've definitely found nothing related to the Malachor, nor a secret sect or cult. <sighs> This Domitius has let his imagination and the taste of naught secrets get the best of him. All right. Find proof against the Ordo Lumis. Where do I have to go? Okay. Is it back here? Now our priority is to discover what this great purification is. Nice. Come down here. Beautiful. Can we get out of here? Yep. Oh, I'm picking. Nice. Beast essence. Are you serious? I 
I think that's a knock. I wasn't too sure. And he wasn't, they weren't there last time. So why are they here now? So proof against Lord of Loomis. Why is it so far away though? Where is it? Oh, okay, it's the house. Go off on this street right here. There should be a gate somewhere. Through here? Nope. I'm getting confused. Is this it? Yes, this is it. Keep getting turned around here. Find proof. Oh, we already know where proof is. Hold on a second. Move, Kurt. Okay. Yeah, that, that sometimes happens. Remember last time there were... Ah! To my help. Yes! And death to the others! So the shadow engulf our enemies! He is dead! They were waiting for us. Old Teleme. They got some good armor. But I think most of it is magical. Alright. Message from the Inquisitor, Bishop Domitius. The purification of the Nazis will begin as soon as those we have in our jails will have confessed. We will have enough proof then to convince the Mother Cardinal to let us act. It is the high time we eliminated these heretics who have been allowed to circulate our cities freely. Yes, yeah, circulate. Until then, stay discreet. We would be in a delicate situation if our plan was to be revealed to her. We must meet with the Mother Cardinal urgently. Only she can put an end to this madness. But what if she doesn't? That's the question. I was very afraid that we would lose our reputation with the old um, Teleme. Why I call it old Teleme? Let's hurry. And we still haven't learned anything about the ruins, so... Yes? Speak about the NOS investigation. I would like to have an audience with the Mother Cardinal to discuss the discoveries made during our investigation. What is this about, Domitius? Well, I don't rightly know. Speak of the theory, speak of events, reveal discoveries in the reserve, speak of the project to attack the port. Okay. I caught wind of a ridiculous scheme planned for the port by the Ordo Luminous, and I wanted to clear it up. I was able to get my hand on documents that effectively detailed an attack. A great purification. They were signed by you, Father, and included a contract where you enlisted the assistance of the Coin Guard to attack every Nort building and make prisoner of every one of their men that could be taken alive. Domitius, how could you? Whatever did you want to accomplish? The Norts are not believers. We should not be dependent on heretics. Have you gone completely mad, Domitius? We are on an island. How could we not be dependent on the Norts? I want them arrested. Him and every member of his order. I will decide at a later time their fate. I thank you for bringing this business to my attention. Going after the Norts. What madness. Without you, this city would now be drowning in chaos. Carry my best wishes to your cousin. His desire to maintain the peace on the island honors his house's reputation. I will tell him, Your Eminence. 
Until we meet again. All right. We didn't have to waste time with that. I don't know if anything else would have been useful to tell them. But we only got one reputation. Would we have gotten more if we told more to her? I don't know. She didn't need to know this. So let's go ahead and find an area to get back to the Admiral. And see what she tells us. And then we'll end it off there. Well, let's go near the gate. Because my house or my residence is near there. And I'll be able to transport from there. Yep, there's the gate. Here we are. Alright, that was a weird entrance, but we're here. Desarde, what can I do for you? I've settled the problem in San Mateus. Several of your men were imprisoned by the Ordo Luminous. The misguided brothers planned to attack the port. I had them arrested. They should no longer be a threat to you. The Order thought you to be heretics because of your tradition of secrecy. The secrets. They often cut both ways. Therefore, I'm going to reveal to you another. We discovered this island nearly two centuries ago. A few decades later, we sold the discovery to your nation of merchants. Then, our closest allies. We transported some lords, men, and merchandise. They began to colonize the island. The lords revealed themselves to possess a tyrannical nature and began to exploit the lands with a deadly passion. Their actions provoked a revolt of the natives, but also the very workers and craftsmen they had brought with them. The magic of the natives of Tirfredi was awoken. Beasts came out of the woods and destroyed the new cities. Only a handful of lords and armed men were able to make it back to our ships. The losses were enormous. The humiliation, devastating. Your princes paid us well to keep their secret. They continued to make the occasional expedition. You are in fact a product of one of them. What are you saying? You must have had your doubts. You are the child of a native. You were born on one of our ships. The child of an islander? But I know who my mother is and... I understand how difficult this is to hear. And I wouldn't know why your family has kept this from you all this time. In the end, we decided to sell the secret location of the island to other nations. The congregation, in spite of its fears, could not keep away. And here you are again. I am sorry for the shock I have caused you. You asked me for the truth, and now you have it. Anything else? All right. I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. I can't believe it. That for all this time, I've been fed lies. Did Constantine know? I must, I must go and see him. My child, I understand that this revelation is upsetting. I, I wish I had the right words to comfort you. In any case, you do not have to be ashamed of your ancestry. This island is at the very core of all our fates. Thank you, Petrius, for your kind words. Or informative, at least. All right, guys. So next time, we'll be going uh, we'll go to Constantine, you know, it's a main quest and we still have to look for the Malkor, but we'll go to him and tell him what we discovered. And then after that, we'll continue on with the other main quest. I don't think there's any other side quest aside from that one guy in the village in Fedrad who wanted us to do something. But, we'll come back, tell Constantine that, and do whatever I feel I can. But yeah, guys. With all that said, I'll see you next time.